Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to change the theme from light to dark and from dark to light in Flutter using Qubit. I will also discuss how to persist the theme. Here I have created this project Qubit Persisted Theme. After that in the pubspec.yml, I have taken the latest dependency of Flutter block and shared preference. This shared preference will be used to persist the theme. Now if I go to the main.dart file then you can see that in the run app I am calling my app which is nothing but a stateless widget and in the material app in the home I am passing my home page this my home page is also a stateless widget and here in the center I have taken an elevated button and in the text I have given theme and the color of the text is black if I run this project then we will get a output like this you can see in the center we have an elevated button having the text as theme and its color is black now whenever i will click on this button at that time the theme will be toggled between light and dark how to achieve this that portion i will discuss today inside the leaf folder i will right click and from here i will choose block new qubit and here i will give the qubit name as theme it will create a folder named as qubit and there are two files theme qubit and theme state let me move to theme state and let me remove all these codes from here here i will create a class named as theme state and inside this class here i will create a variable of type theme data and after that i will create the constructor of the class and to this constructor here i will pass this dot theme data so our theme state class has been created now let me move to theme qubit in the theme qubit let me remove this and this after that i will import this qubit from flutter block library now inside this class first of all i will create a static variable static final and the variable type will be theme data and let me give the variable name as light theme and here i will use theme data dot light similarly i will declare one more variable and you can guess its name will be dark theme and it will be dark now this is nothing but the constructor of the class and to this super here i will pass the initial value as theme state and here i will pass light theme now inside this qubit i will create a function toggle theme which will toggle the theme between light and dark and to this toggle theme i will pass a boolean variable let the variable name is is dark depending on this value the theme will be toggled between light and dark so here i will create a variable final theme data equals to here i will check what is the value of is dark if it is dark then obviously i need to use dark theme else i need to use light theme right now i need to emit the theme state so i will emit the theme state and here i will pass the theme data so depending on the value of is dark we will emitting or we will emit the theme state having the value as dark theme or light theme and after that i need to persist the theme and to do that here i am creating a function save theme i will pass is dark actually i will save the uh, mode whether it is a dark mode or light mode that i will save to the shared preference and to do that here i am creating this save theme function now here let me create this function save theme what this function will accept this function will accept a boolean parameter let me give its name as is dark and let me make it as async and since it is async here i need to use uh, a return type as future of void 
right now here i will declare a variable final preference equals to await shared preference dot get instance sorry get instance and now again i need to use await and i will use this shared preference object and i will call the set bool method now it will take a key let me give the key name as is dark and i will save the value what value the value which we are receiving here so i will pass is dark so if is dark is true then in the set preference true will be saved and if it is false then in the set preference false will be saved now like we have saved the theme similarly i need to create a function which will fetch the value from the set preference and to do that here i will create a function uh, static let the return type be future of bull and let me give the function name as load theme make it async and here i need to copy paste this and after that i will return preference dot get bull sorry get bull and here i need to pass the key that is is dark and if it is null then from here i will return what i will return false okay now here i will create one more function set initial theme means whenever the application will be launched at that time this function will decide whether to display the light mode or dark mode for that i am creating this function let me make it as async and let it be future of void let me declare a variable final is dark await it will load the value from the shared preference and here i will use final theme data now depending on the value of is dark if it is true then obviously here i need to use dark theme else we need to use what light theme and after that i need to emit the state as well so simply i will copy this and i will paste it here so our qubit is ready now let me move to main dot dart inside the main dot dart i will wrap this my app with block provider so let me click here let me use block provider and this block provider will be of type theme qubit let me import this block provider from flutter block and here i need to use what here i need to use theme qubit and with this theme qubit here i will call the set initial theme method which will set the theme whenever the application will be launched and based on this set initial theme function code it will be either a light theme or dark theme now let me move to this material app i will wrap this material app with block builder so let me wrap it with block builder and here it will be theme qubit and it will be theme state state right now here in this material app i will use theme and from here where it will get the theme it will get the theme from state so here i need to use state dot theme data now here since we are using state dot theme data so there is no need of this const and here it will be const 
now let me move to my home page now in the my home page inside this build here i will declare a variable final let it be is dark mode equals to theme dot of context dot brightness equals to equals to let it be brightness dot dark so if it is dark means if the uh, device brightness is dark then this variable will contain true otherwise it will contain false now let me move to this elevated button and inside this on pressed here i will use context dot read and here i need to use theme qubit because i told you that whenever this button will be clicked at that time the theme will be toggled between light and dark so here i need to call toggle theme and to this toggle theme here i will pass not of is dark mode so if this is dark mode then here it will be true and whenever i will call this function here i will pass false and if i go to theme qubit if it is false this means light theme will be set so if the device theme is dark then this light theme will be set and if the device theme is light then this dark theme will be set right and here i will do one more thing i will check what is the value of is dark mode if the value of is dark mode is true then let me change the text to light theme else i will change it to dark theme and accordingly i will change the color here i am using is dark mode so there is no need of this const and here also i will check in the color if it is dark mode then the color will be white else the color will be black now let me run this now if i can show you the output so we are getting this now if i click on initially you can see that the theme is light that's why the button text is dark theme and if i click on dark theme then you can see that the theme has been changed to dark and once the theme has been changed to dark then this button text is light theme if i click here it once again then the theme is changed to light and the caption is changed to dark if i click here and if i do a hot restart once again then whenever the application will be launched at the time you can see that it is launched with dark theme this means our theme has been saved whether it is light or dark that mode has been saved and based on that we are getting the light theme or the dark theme this is how we can change the theme from light to dark and from dark to light and uh, how to persist the theme that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching